All right, guys, so these are the ingredients we're gonna be using. Here, I have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Here, I have one cup of sugar, one cup of plain Greek yogurt, three eggs, one and a half teaspoons of almond extract, and then in here, I have two teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. And then here, I have a half cup of vegetable oil and one cup of diced strawberries. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna grab is a small mixing bowl, just like this. And to this, we are going to add our all-purpose flour and our baking powder and salt. You wanna give that a mix. And then just set it aside. Now you wanna grab a larger mixing bowl, something like this. So then to this bowl, you're gonna add your one cup of sugar. You wanna add your three eggs. And now you wanna add your Greek yogurt. your almond extract, and your vegetable oil. And now we're gonna mix it. So I'm gonna use this instead. So once you get it to this consistency, now we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. So you wanna add a little bit at a time. Okay, okay so this is how you want it to look. All right. Okay, so now you wanna grab either an eight or nine inch loaf pan. You wanna grab some non-cooking spray and you wanna spray the bottom and the sides. Okay. Right. Now once you've done this, go ahead and set this to the side and you're gonna bring back your mixture. Okay, now to your mix, you're gonna add your one cup of diced strawberries now you're not gonna stir them in there, you're gonna fold it. You're just gonna do it like this. So now you're gonna grab your pan. So now it should look something like this. Now we're gonna stick it into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 50 minutes. Okay, so we just took it out of the oven. So let's go ahead and check it. Let's run a toothpick through there. Uh, there you go. So we let this cook for about 55 minutes in a 350 degree oven. All right, All right so we're gonna get a knife and we wanna run the edges off. It should be okay if you put nonstick cooking spray in it before. Now you wanna grab a plate And now you wanna grab a cooling rack, just like this. And we're gonna do the same thing again. Just like this, and this is how it should look. Now for the next step, you have to completely, completely let this cake cool down. So we're gonna go ahead and let it cool down. We're gonna put it in a different spot in the kitchen where it can cool. Now to make your strawberry glaze, you're gonna need two cups of white powdered sugar and half a cup of smashed strawberries. Now you wanna grab a bowl, and to this bowl you're gonna add your powdered sugar and your smashed strawberries. And now we're gonna combine it.
Okay, so now this has completely cooled. So now to this, we're gonna add our glaze. All right guys, so here it is. This is how it looks. Hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.